Hello everyone, this is Anu Chedi and welcome back to another video by AMS Group of Institutes. Now today's video is about basics of accounting. This video is part of a series. So all those people who are new, please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you will get a notification whenever we come up with the next video. So let's move forward with today's topic. Before we move forward towards the accounting, let's see the type of accounts. There are three types of accounts, real, personal and nominal account. Real account are all those material assets which a company owns. The examples are land, building. Personal accounts represent all the individual persons with which the company is doing business. It might also include other companies as well. These accounts lead to creation of debt or repayment of debt. And last and not the least is the nominal account. These includes all the incomes and expenses which the company incurs. The benefit of these incomes and expenses will be for less than one year for the company. So now we have seen the types of accounts. Let's move forward with the golden rules. Now, the golden rules are very important for any account student because all the accounting in the world is done with these golden rules. So firstly, we will see the rule for real account. The rule for real account is debit what comes in and credit what goes out. Next, we will see the personal account. The rule is debit the receiver and credit the giver. And for nominal account, the rule is debit all expenses and losses and credit all incomes and gains. So we have seen the types of accounts. We have seen the golden rules. So now we can go forward with the journal entries. But firstly, there are a few steps which you have to follow if you want to fully successfully do the journal entry. Now, these are the steps. Step number one is identify the accounts involved in the transaction. Which all accounts are involved in a particular transaction, you will have to identify those. In step number two, you will have to find out the nature of these accounts. That is, is it a real account, personal account or a nominal account? Now, depending upon the type of account, we will do step number three. That is, apply the golden rules. Step four is you will create your journal entry. And step number five, which is the most important, that is, create the narration. See, narration is just a description of the transaction. So, make sure you do the narration as well. Next, we'll move forward towards the practice questions. Question number one. Salary paid in cash, rupees 10,000. So first, step number one, we will identify the accounts involved. In this, you can see there are two accounts. One is salary, the other one is cash. So the answer for step number one will be salary and cash. Second account is cash account. Next is, we will try to identify the types of accounts. Salary is a nominal account because it is a business expense. So here it is a nominal account and cash. It is a material asset of the business. So it is a real account. Next is we will apply the golden rules. So the rule for nominal accounts is debit all expenses and incomes. Salary is an expense. So we will debit this account. So we will debit it. And for real, real account golden rules are debit what comes in and credit what goes out. So cash is going out because you're paying them the salary. So we will credit this account. So cash is being credited. Now we have created a journal entry. We will debit the salary account and credit the cash account. So let's move forward with actually writing down the journal entry. There is a proper format which has to be followed. So when you're writing, you will start with the debit account. Buy salary account debit so you will always start the debit with the prefix buy next is the credit account so credit is being credited by cash so over here to cash account 
credit. Now why cash credit? Because we have already seen in step number 3. The cash is being credited and salary will be debited. Next is we will write down the amounts. The salary being paid was 10,000 rupees. Okay. Now salary is being debited. So in the debit column of salary we will write down the 10,000 rupees amount. So 10,000 in the debit side and there will be nothing on the credit side. Now second is the cash. Cash is being credited. So over here we will insert that amount in the credit side. So debit will be nothing and cash credited by 10,000 rupees. Now mind you the last step is still remaining. That is we will have to write down the narration. So the narration will be being. Mind you narration will always start with the letter being. And then if you don't know what to write the narration, you can simply repeat the transaction. Being salary paid in cash. In cash. And then you will simply close the bracket. So this is how you will do a journal entry following the steps to a journal entry. So let's take another example. Goods sold to Amit on credit rupees 15,000. Now in this, Whenever you are selling the goods, it can be in cash or it can be on credit. On credit means right now he doesn't have to pay. He will pay you after some time. So let's see the accounts involved. The accounts are the goods sold and Amit. So whenever you are selling these goods, you will never write goods account. You will always use sales. When you are purchasing the goods, you will use purchase account. So over here we are selling the goods. So the account will be sales. So the first account is sales. And the next one is the person to whom you are giving it on credit. So it is Mr. Amit. So Amit is the second account. Next is the nature of these account. Now sales. This is a income for the business. So it is a nominal account. So first is nominal. Now we will move forward to Amit. Amit represents a person and there is creation of debt as well. So this is a personal account. So Amit is a personal account. Now we'll move forward with the golden rules. The nominal rules are debit all the expenses and losses and credit all the incomes and gains. So sales is our income. So we will credit this account. So sales will be credited. And next, Amit. The personal rules are debit the receiver and credit the giver. In this situation, Amit is receiving the goods. He is receiving our debt. We are giving him a debt. So Amit is the receiver. So we will debit the Amit account. So there you go. We have the journal entry. Let's move forward with the format. So first will be the debit entry. Buy Amit account debit. We will always start with buy. Next is the credit. The sales is being credited. So we will write to sales account credit. The sales entry that is the credit entry will always start with two. Next is the amount. The amount was 15,000 rupees. So Amit is being debited. So we will write it in the debit side of Amit's account. So that is 15,000 rupees. Next, sales is being credited. So we will credit 15,000 rupees in the sales account. So sales credited by 15,000 rupees. And the last step is we will do the narration. So the narration will always start with being. Being goods sold on credit see this is enough you do not have to mention who you are selling it to the narration is simply an explanation of the transaction in simple language so this is how you will do journal entries this is it for today's video if you found this video to be useful then please give it a thumbs up and share this link with your fellow peers and students and as always happy learning